Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to make a special video, a video where I show you how the autopilot from Tesla advanced until 2023 and keep in mind my car, my Tesla Model 3 have the standard autopilot. So in this video I want to show you how is the standard autopilot because I see so many people question and ask about this. I mean so many people are in doubt they should take the enhanced autopilot or they should take standard autopilot and in this video I want to show you how I drive around four years with standard autopilot without any problem and you will see in this video how good it is i mean it's it's one of the best on the market for sure and i think it's totally deserved to get the standard autopilot and if you will buy a new tesla today i think the best way to go is just go standard autopilot and then after a while after six months after you drive the car you see if it's really deserved to upgrade or if this standard autopilot it's just enough for you so now guys let's drive the car and as i drive i will give you the information all right so let me put the seat belt and let's drive the car first of all i just want to adjust the seat and press the brake going drive and right now let's drive let's go out from here and first of all i want to drive on on a city road and then we will go also on the highway and i will show you how it's uh, there right now you can see also on this screen on the left side here you can see the lanes you can see the other cars you can see uh, sometimes the bicycle and also the uh, people that are around the car and also the cones and we will focus on this main screen right here uh, also I will activate right now the autopilot this is the standard autopilot you can set the speed from here for example I will set it a little bit lower than the speed limit for example here is 50 I will set it to 45 and right now the car will keep between the lanes uh, also it will warn you from time to time to keep your hands on the steering wheel it's really recommended to have all the time the hands on the steering wheel no matter if you use autopilot on the highway in the city no matter where you use it hold your hands on the steering wheel because sometimes when those lines are interrupted for example like here the car will be a little bit confused you can see but it still stay between the lanes just perfectly and then again a warning you just hold it a little bit and it work just fine also pay attention to the traffic signs because if it's red the car will just go you know uh, like it not stop for you at the standard autopilot then here you can also higher the speed the car can read also the speed limit but it's not so precise as on other cars because it use only the um, it doesn't use the camera or the same system as on other cars it use kind of a navigation system uh, speed limit and stuff like that anyway now let's go to 80 you can see right here you can higher the speed and again we will go yeah better let's go a little bit um, with 60 I think here it's also a 60 speed limit and you can see how the car can see those speed limits can see what it's around uh, the car and also the lanes and you can see how good it stays between the lanes so I test so many cars and I drive so many cars and I tell you for sure that Tesla has the best uh, autopilot that's that's hundred percent now let's lower the speed right here also let's see how it's handled over those uh, bumps and then we have a kind of a complicated you see it warn you when you don't know here 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 look at this yeah I didn't trust there you can see so that's why you always have to hold your hand on the steering wheel because in some situations um, the car doesn't manage so well for the moment in the city but these apply also on the enhanced autopilot so it's not only that standard autopilot doesn't know how to get that curve but also on the enhanced autopilot and I know many people ask like what's the difference in autopilot and software um, between the old models for example like it's mine from 2019 and the new models they kind of have different cameras and uh, kind of the same sensors 
it's a little bit improved but not too much so the improvement it's a little bit and in this situation on the city streets like here it act the same so don't expect to have a big improvement on the newest model so it will act kind of the same uh, still here it's hold between the lanes but when it's curved and interrupted and uh, stuff like that will be really complicated you can see right here it still stay here pretty well we have to lower the speed now you have to press the brake and uh, stop for example here you have to stop for yourself it doesn't stop so you, you have to do that anyway in the city in this uh, circumstance you just have to take the control so this is how it act you can see we activate it again sometimes when it doesn't see the lanes don't want to activate you know in this situation when it doesn't see it's not so sure it will not activate so it doesn't let you um, activate it anyway uh, we will turn around here and we will do we will test it one more time the same story so here we have to drive 30 so here doesn't want to activate here you can activate only cruise control without a lane assist so you can see here it's activated right now if you press the brake it is activated and here you have to stop again and then drive and activate it and you can activate it you can activate the cruise control without the lane assist so you can control the steering wheel all you have to do is just pull it down one time from the stalk on the right side you pull it down one time and you activate the normal cruise control like the classic one and right now the car will just hold the speed we'll use emergency brake when the car in front will brake your car will brake as well when the car in front accelerate will accelerate as well and also when we'll see an obstacle like a person or like uh, an animal it will brake you know like it, it will use the emergency brake even though you are in cruise control if you want to activate the autopilot the the full autopilot you just go two times down and right now it's activate the full autopilot and the lane assist is also activated and you can see here in the city how it works and you see it is doing a good job a relatively good job for what what an um, autopilot can do for the moment or a computer can do for the moment and here you see a few curves it's kind of uh, dangerous on those kind of uh, twisty small roads here depend also on what speed you have with the car also again here is doing automatically and you can higher the speed right here when it sees the speed limit come on 60 you can go up to 60 and it still hold between the lanes you see that but always uh, they will bother you with 10 to 10 seconds or 20 seconds it will um, warn you to hold your hands on the steering wheel so that's something to be keep in mind here we can go even faster to 80 for example you can do that from this wheel you can set the speed from the wheel and also it says again hold your hand on the steering wheel if you if you will not hold your hand on the steering wheel it will beep you it will look at this it will warn you it will uh, stop the car and then uh, turn on the blinkers the turning signal the hazard light and and then you have to um, reset it you know like it will not leave you uh, activated for the rest of the of the trip so you have to stop the car and re um, restart it again so in order to work now again here you can activate you can drive in the city streets so from my point of view i don't think i don't think for the moment they can improve it more than that because the streets are not perfectly made you know like there are parts where it's missing the lanes um, the, and and not only the lanes i mean uh, the the marks on the on the streets and it will be really confusing and will be really dangerous even though if can handle you can see right here it's doing okay but it's yeah look 
it's going a little bit bouncing around on those kind of curves look at this again it's just yeah this that was a little bit better but still 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 it's it's quite quite dangerous to leave it 100 percent alone at least in the city and also in the big curves uh, will be crazy complicated for for the system to do it and you can see sometimes it's also breaking it has a little bit of um, it sees the, the trunk in the front and it's breaking a little bit you can see right here it's breaking automatically it comes around about but you you have to take the control because right now it's super confused you see you don't know what to do it's accelerating and whoa, just just deactivate it on the on the turn on the roundabouts you have to re deactivate it all the time it's from my point of view the autopilot in this moment is not ready to to be full fully autonomous here even though it's dark the car still see really well even on the night time even on the tunnels um, the autopilot is working really really good uh, on the highway it's just almost perfectly where the curves are small and the lanes are really clear so on the highway you can use it without any problem but in the cities in the circumstances like that here you can see it's look it's, it's a little bit confusing it's breaking itself look now it's breaking and also will will accelerate when the car in front will accelerate and I like that you can see here around also the sensors it tells you that it's something on the right side it's something on the left side it sees the car in front and it's kind of a well well awake of what happened around the car it's aware what it's around the car and right now it's driving itself I don't have to press the brake this is the the most um, useful feature when you stay in traffic and you don't want to always accelerate and brake or change the gears like in old fashion cars it's just driving for you you know it just bother you to have your hand on the string but look at this it's just right now in this moment it's just driving itself and it's breaking itself and it accelerates itself it's doing the job for you and it's doing perfectly and you can choose from here left and right how much distance you want from the car in front so if you want a big distance to be safe if you want a less distance you can go all the way uh, to second level and right now it's doing the job but you have to take the control because you see here is no lanes and it's confused you don't know where to stay you know right now it's beginning the lanes and that's why I think this autopilot will be super hard to make it work fully autonomous right now you have to break yourself even though the car it sees the traffic signs you can see it sees the traffic sign it sees the people there and also we will warn you when it make green you will hear a beep you hear it that beep mean it's a it's a red it's a green and you can drive but in general let, let me show you here for example we go on the you activate it here we drive like 40 and let, let me show you this is a hard one and it's brake it's accelerate it's look it's a little bit confused it's almost go too much on the left side and then it will again come between the lanes so on those kind of big curves it's still not there it's still not what it should be you know what I mean and then here it's driving super fine I mean when you go on the highway now you have to change your your lanes alone so it's not like enhanced autopilot where you can change the lanes on the highway but you don't need that I mean yeah just for changing lanes now when you go 80 and you drive on the highway and you go inside the highway look at this on those little curves it's just it's doing really good now hold your hands on the steering wheel always for the safety purpose but it will do just perfectly and then you can higher the speed from here you can go up to 100 here it's 100 speed limit and here we are and here on the highway 
you don't have any problem it's doing just perfectly it will accelerate will stay between the lanes perfectly will brake and accelerate in front and what impressed me the most is that tesla with even the oldest is tesla from 2019 2018 uh, i mean the model 3 with all these sensors will do much better than most of the other new cars from 2023 if you take a, a car from 2023 from other manufacturers and you and you test this autopilot system it will be much worse than that and this one it's like it's like a few years ahead like five years ahead of other competitors of course if we think about mercedes bmw um, i see also volvo and the other cars um, kind of premium brands they they come close you know like they come close and they start to improve these systems and they are quite good but still for the price of the car i think tesla model 3 is is the best deal to go i mean guys and even with the price reduction from the last month tesla lowered the price in almost all country all over the world and i'm not sure if it's really deserved to to go with another car um, and to buy other brands and if you don't like tesla model 3 you can go with tesla model y you can pay a little bit more and get the same deal the same great deal and you have a bigger car you have a bigger trunk more space a great hatchback there so you can carry a lot of stuff without any problem so this is my opinion guys look and it's still driving itself from time to time you can hold your hand and you have to hold your hand on the steering wheel but still and it brakes accelerate depend on what the car in front will do here it's a working construction on the road and you can still see that we have orange line and the car sees also the orange lines but i i never trust it here i always take control fully when i go to those construction sites and i recommend you to do the same but the car can do that i mean it sees the orange lines and it stays between the orange lines even though in the middle kind of we have another uh, white line there so that's something to keep in mind it can still handle pretty well but on construction sites you can see it's not sure on the lane there so i really recommend you to take the control fully on the construction sites and never trust autopilot not for the moment but here it still do the job accelerate brake it's doing perfectly and for me it's more than enough i mean i don't even need personally the full enhanced autopilot until it's not fully ready when i will see that it's it's completely ready to drive 100 percent alone then I, then i will buy it but until then i will stick with with this one with the standard one i think this one is just perfect i need it and sometimes when i drive on the highway for example in the night time when i drive many kilometers i activate autopilot like a measure of safety and also i drive the car so i can activate it and i stay awake and aware of what happened around the car and then um, i just drive like this right now it's activated and i have my hands I'm ready to take the control all the time of the car if something happened but I let it be you know I let it be because sometimes in the night time in some circumstation you can see even better than you so yeah this is a great feature and I need it I mean I need this standard one I can say um, that I will definitely if, if the the car was coming without any autopilot and you have to pay also for the standard autopilot you know like something like that i will definitely pay for the standard one because i really need it uh, on the highway I, as i tell you when i drive many kilometers i just hit 120 or how much is the speed limit and then just let it go on automatic it will take your your stress it will take your your um, you will not be so tired you know like you will be much more relaxed after the road and you can drive even farther away so 
autopilot it's this standard is totally a must have on on a car if you drive for many kilometers here you can see it start itself but right like like right now you see you get some errors don't know what to do so that's the thing here you activate it again and right now cruise control unavailable exactly what i tell you you see because because sometimes when he sees you're not aware of what happened he will deactivate and he will not let you uh, drive with it so look at this here we'll we'll start again itself we'll kind of accelerate we can change when the car in front is go away it will actually accelerate even more and we will go to the speed that you set here but yeah it comes around about here i recommend you to take the control and do your job because roundabouts is not his thing so. let's turn around here So that was with uh, that was with um, highway, and here again, if you act, if you activate it here, it will do the same. You know, it will wait until the car in front is driving, and then it will drive it itself as well. You can see right now, it's just doing. It's just, and you can see here all the infos on the screen what's happening around the car you can see the signs traffic signs you can see the lines you can see the arrows on the on the ground and this is because it has also this uh, autopilot hardware free here you have to stop for yourself at the stop sign it has this hardware 3.0 and you can see the buses you can see the traffic signs you can see what happened under the car on the on the lines but if you have the older hardware because the first tesla model 3 that comes out was coming with hardware an older version of hardware and didn't have these things but i have i had i get lucky because from end of 2019 they start to add this hardware 3.0 and then you will have this new hardware on the car so this is uh, really useful anyway um, I think you get the idea you can also activate it here if it sees the lanes and let's go to 50 just like that and it will do just fine also between the cities in kind of a national roads but this is not super super safe and I will always have my hand on the steering wheel and also always you can see it's brake here is not sure what happened it's read a little bit the signs the lines and then it will accelerate so yeah it's a little bit unsure but you can use it it's usable with, with your hands on the steering wheel but I totally recommend you on those kind of roads to take the control and just um, drive yourself but here look at this he's doing just fine and then you can go to 60 it's a bigger curve here but he's doing it look at this it's managed to do it just just fine and now I have to take the control you have to brake and drive yourself but in general he's doing a great job so I guess that was the video guys I, I hope you get some useful information from the video I hope it was useful and it helped you with your decision uh, if you don't know if you should go full autopilot or you should go standard autopilot so from my point of view I think the standard autopilot it's more than enough for what most of the people use daily you know
because you see there are so many circumstances and so many road uh, working construction sites and it's it's quite quite dangerous and I like like some other um, some other managers from the car manufacturer from PID it says like autopilot it's impossible and I I don't think it's impossible fully autopilot but I think it's a it's a lot of work until there and even in Switzerland where the streets are just perfect and they, they work on them they put a lot of money on them they are not ready you cannot drive it even in Switzerland I don't even think about other countries you know like where the streets are not that good so that was the trip guys that was the video i hope you get some useful information from it you can see it is also the truck in front i hope you get some useful information from the video i hope it was useful and help you with your decision also if you want to see more videos like that don't forget to like share subscribe if you want to buy a tesla no matter what model no matter in what country you are you can use my referral code right now i see that tesla give 1000 credits if you use my referral code so yeah you can use it and you can use your credit to buy a free supercharger kilometers or other accessories from the tesla website so yeah the link and the referral will be in the description and also on the screen if you want to use it so anyway if you need help with something i will be happy to help you so write me down in the comment thank you very much for watching my videos stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys